It's me. Ha ha. Surprise. We're back at the, uh, well, my most wonderful dumpster so far, which is uh, the one at the plumbing company. Uh, we're doing a little twilight dumpster diving this time. So uh, hang on to your hats, you uh, ne'er-do-wells and bilge rats and pirates and, well, let's don't forget the citizens. After all, they vote or something. I don't get it. Anyway, uh, hang on to everything you got because here we go. We're going to see if we can find maybe a little bit of copper and brass and steel pipe and, you know, scrap metal. Which would not be a good idea. Okay, here's two more of those, and another one down here, and another one. Okay, it's a little bit of recycling for sure. Let's get over here. At a nickel a piece, they're not the most desirable thing, but I'll tell you what, they beat the heck out of nothing, which is what happens a lot. They're way more popular than nothing. Nothing turns me off like nothing. <gasps> I see goodies. I already see the glimmer of copper and copper. Oh, 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 oh. What did I do with that little box? There it is. I tossed that aside, but we might want to gather up all these little chunks of copper and such into some uh, transportable form. Ah, another one. Ah, copper is wonderful. It's about $3.50 a pound here right now. That's one of the reasons it's wonderful. E-worms in the car with the AC on. I, I think he'll be fine. Let me see here. Gloves? Nope. Don't have any use for them. Uh, coveralls? Nope. Not for me. Okay. Aluminum cans. More plastic bottles. Aluminum cans. Uh, these are pee pee bottles. We'll put those over there for somebody else. I'm sure somebody out here likes pee pee bottles, just not me. Okay, I never turn down still extremely sharp saw blades that have the paint sort of scuffed on them. I will take those. Ooh, look at that. Somebody did some copper plumbing around here. And I love when they do copper plumbing. At least that one was water, not something else if you get my drift. Okay, let's see what we got here. This thing's still heavy. Not ridiculously heavy, but it's heavy. Let's get rid of some of the chaff. <gasps> Ooh, copper. Heavy copper. Probably weighs as much as all the pieces I got so far. Okay, let's uh, get this out of here. Put that in there. Let's see what's left in the bag. Okay. Ah, more copper. I like copper. Copper is wonderful. Yeah. Yes, I would marry it if it was single, but it's not. Everybody goes out with copper. Nobody leaves it laying there at home. Why don't you marry it? Yeah, yeah, I get you. I understand what you mean. I like these uh, really long screws. They come in handy for things like fixing my fence at home. Well, that's about all of it, I guess. Oh, this guy was really conservative with his copper bits. He did not throw them willy-nilly or use more of them than he had to. The company can be very proud of such a man. He's looking out for their bottom line. Copper is expensive. Okay, we're going to put those in there. And this one. And get rid of this. And I see a bag or two over there that I do not recognize from yesterday. 
so I think I'll uh, see if I can move some of the pavement off and make sure those bags don't have goodies in them. Because if they have goodies in them, I want those goodies. Because goodies, by their very definition, are good. So there. Okay. Any bits of copper are good, but... A giant piece of copper pipe would be nice. <clears throat> oh well. Even used, I don't have to have a brand new one. Just copper. Or brass. Those are the deals that pay for the meals right now. Get a little stuff from uh, yesterday. Let me see here. Hmm. Okay. Some of these rocks I can move with my heavy-duty pick stick. Some of them I probably cannot. Okay. Ah, he's alive still. Good. That's a good sign. Let's see. We move this out of the way. And one of these. These things are heavy. And oh, one of those. Get out of here. And that, and this, and this, pieces of pavement. Ugh. Like I say, they must have had a uh, line running under the road that they had to fix. Could have been a private road. How do I know? Uh-oh. Come on. Get down in there. Right. I got this one on the neck of the bag, which is important because that's what I could grab it by more heavy little rocks and things. Goodbye, rocks. Okay. Yeah, this bag may have something I have not seen. I'm hoping, anyway. Hopefully it's not full of these same rocks or asphalt. Oh my gosh, it's super heavy like it is full of cement or asphalt or rocks or dirt. <clears throat> something heavy, in other words. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Let's take a peek. Once they've gotten it in the trash can, they don't care if it's scattered out of here. What do they care? They just wanted it to get here in one big lump. So let's see if we can't. Oh my gosh. Dump this PB out. See what's in there. Without having to go through it piece by piece I know there's some more asphalt in there I can feel it but let's see what else maybe is there anything else hmm mm -hmm. it's like a big bag full of asphalt isn't it wait a minute what's that oh, that's a glove I think yep that's a glove hmm well, there's a club in there. There could be other things in there. I need something to rake that stuff out of the way. But this little thing is uh, getting taxed to the max. Trying to lift chunks of asphalt and using it for a stick to move them. So, uh, let me see. I need... <clears throat> Something longer than that would be nice. Mm, oh, there's that thing the camera goes in. Mm, found it. Okay. Let's see. No, nope, nothing there. Nothing helpful anyway. Nothing there really. Well, I don't think I can rake that stuff around with anything around here. <sighs> That's bad. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, if I could get in the dumpster, I could throw this stuff. Yeah, okay. Back to the stick, I guess. I'm not diving in the dumpster for some asphalt. 
but I do want to know if there's anything else under it. And this thing and this. Okay. I do have this goofy thing, which is not very long, unfortunately. But maybe it'll rake some of this out of the way. Oh yeah, okay. Better than I thought, anyway. Let's see if there's anything else under there. Oh, come on. This is taking years. In scrapper minutes. These are years. Okay. That over there. That over there. This over there. This over there. That over there. That over there. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else in this bag. Except a bunch of asphalt, it appears. And a glove. And a receipt. <laughs> and that's about it, I guess. Just a bag full of asphalt. Well, at least it's not my fault. I mean, I didn't put that in the bag, right? So it's not pirate fault. <sighs> well, that concludes this one. Hmm. Now for about three weeks, there was one and then two and now one again of these gigantic dumpsters down there. So uh, I'm wondering because they never had anything in them, ever. Kind of odd, right? I mean, you have to pay to have one of those sitting there makes no sense to not put anything in it but uh, that's the way it was really so now I see something on top of it over the edge so apparently they have put something or a bunch of something in that dumpster that giant dumpster the roll-off that's what you call those a roll-off uh, I see recycling in this already so I'm going to do a little operation here. Look at this. One, two, three of them right there. Now, you don't dare put these on the ground with the kind of wind I have right now. I hope you can hear me because of the wind. But anyway, there's a lot of wind right now. If you put these on the ground completely round, they will leave before you can uh, stomp them. Yeah. The wind will take them away in an instant, or maybe less. What's less than an instant? Um, a flash. Take them away in a flash. You know, like gunpowder when you uh, put a burn stick to it uh, with a trail of powder on a cannon. That goes off in a flash. Okay, another one of those. I like these. Aluminum cans are my favorite recycling, actually. I don't know why. I just like them <clears throat> much better than uh, plastic bottles. For one thing, they compact all to be durned. I mean, they get really tiny, which means you can put about a jillion of them in a big trash bag. Also, the other thing I like about them is, ah, ah, another one, good, is uh, they're less likely to have a bunch of liquid in them because, well, they're open. Some people put these caps back on the water bottles and the soda bottles, which I like because it makes them heavier, right? But before they put the cap back on the bottle, I would appreciate it if they'd actually drink whatever was in the bottle. Too many of them get thrown away full of whatever liquid they came with. 
which to me seems a little wasteful. I don't know about to you, but to me it does. Anything in here that we would want? No, it looks like, uh, nope, garbage. The French word, garbage, which uh, roughly translate to a bunch of trash. Now oh, they had some pizza apparently with paper plates to put it on. Oh, I wasn't invited. I noticed that. But that's okay. Workers may eat pizza where they work from sun to sun. But a pirate's work is never done. Oh, speaking of water bottles. Oh, without a lid. Pretty easy to squish if they don't have a lid. Just give them a little twist like that. Dun, 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 dun. I know, I'm always telling everyone, you know, how they probably should do things. Uh, no, you're always free to go your own way and do your own thing. I mean, it's just a suggestion. But when you've lived a while and you've found out that certain things work a lot better, like save you a lot of time or a lot of energy or both, you want to share that with people. It's just the way it is. Ah, there we go. Put that in there. Now, let me see what may or may not be. Well, let me get the keys first. While I'm up on that dumpster, somebody could steal the triple R and I wouldn't want that. In fact, I'm just going to lock it. How's that? Now let's take a look in this gigantic dumpster over here. Huh. Weird. It's right by this place that... Across the street from this place... Thank you, trucks on the highway! Uh, this place that guards their trash with their life. See that dumpster there? I don't know what they have in it. But uh, they'll put it out here at the street. And if you go near the dumpster, they'll come out and yell at you. Like, you know, there's gold in it or something. Which makes me want to, you know, dive into that dumpster even more, apparently. Duh. Pirate. So uh, they shouldn't act like it's made out of gold because I'm going to want it a lot more. Let's see what they've taken out of here. Ugh. Well, just this one thing. And I don't think it's metal. Nope. That is made of wood. Well, we don't want that thing. It's made out of wood. There's other wood in here and some cardboard. And one can down there. But am I going to jump down in this thing and try to get back out for that can? Nope. I'd never make it back out. And for what? Five cents? Mm, I better not do it. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Prudence is what it's called for now. For one to be prudent. Not reactionary and say, Oh, there's a five cent can on the bottom of this giant dumpster. Should I dive in? It's only got... Mm, 15 foot sides on it 12 or 15 now I I don't think so because I can't get back out now if there was a bunch of stuff in it of course I'd only go so far down and I can just climb back out but nope not that one why they keep having this expensive dumpster sitting here and not putting anything in it I still do not understand what could be the reasoning? I mean, they're paying for it to sit there. Stick to pick. Mm, not much to pick. 
I like that though. Every little piece of steel. Every little piece of steel helps. Ah, and one of these. A monstrosity can. Aye. There be monsters here. Don't want that. Do we want that? No. Windshield washer. No. Um, is that a rubber gasket? Yes, it is. Oh, we don't want that either. Mm -hmm. Brick clean. Anything in it? Let me see. Nope. Not a speck. Well, let's check their... Uh, we've got a bolt and a can so far. Well, let's uh, check their regular little... Uh, waste container over here see if there's anything in it there rarely is I tell you this one's usually a no um oh got a can this time for sure come out of there let go of that paper we don't want the paper now I've dropped the monster in there I have to capture a monster again it's a lot of trouble sometimes to capture a monster. No, not that time. Okay, there's this. Wow. What a mess. There's this. Aha. It has two ends on it. And both of them have brass. So, uh, emergency-wise, since I don't have a clipper on me, I'll just use the old uh, slasher rig here. See if I can get this thing off of here. Come on. Ah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. Cut away from my fingers would probably be better. Yeah, I understand. I think you're right, too. I'll need my fingers in the future, I believe. Unless, of course... The good Lord takes me now, uh, which is his prerogative, of course, at all times. But should I be able to go here and go there again, I would need fingers. They would be very handy. There we go. Brass, brass, chunk of steel, two aluminum cans. <clears throat> Not much of a haul, but there never is with that one. That one usually just has uh, paper, styrofoam, cardboard, and empty uh, oil and transmission fluid containers. It's about all that graces that one usually. Okay, so, oh, we got a chunk of bumper. Mm, mm, mm. Chunky bumper? No, just a chunk of bumper. But it works the same. It's a heavy duty goober. And a heavy duty. And a heavy duty goober beats the heck out of a goofy goober. You know, SpongeBob and Patrick. They're goofy goobers, apparently. Yeah, this thing we want. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Look at the uh, thickness on that. Can you see that? Wow, it's a uh, three sixteenths of an inch or so. Yep. I wish there were uh, five of those in here. Would be okay with me. Ah, uh, they got a big piece of plastic that went over the front of it as the bumper. That's the bumper that was behind it. Let's see if they put anything in here before they threw it away. Nope. Just a box. Just the box. <laughs> well, we're going to put this down here. When we get through, we'll just put it all back. Because otherwise, I don't see how I'm going to get those cans down there without taking some of this stuff out of the way. 
like I said, this usually has cans, aluminum cans and plastic bottles that are CRV in California. Nickel a piece. Better than a nothing a piece, that's for sure. Huh? Didn't finish that one, I guess. I did. It's finished now. Okay, what else we got in here? Got a box here, which just has packing material in it. Let's see if I can get it all in there, because it wasn't all in there. <clears throat> Try to make it a little better usually when I leave, you know, so they don't get uh, angry about me having removed the bottles and cans when it actually uh, helps them out because the, uh, the uh, container is more packed down than it was and therefore more able to close the lid if, you, if they should desire, I mean. They don't really care that much about it here, but it's okay. Some more cardboard. Little cardboard box with something in it heavy. Hmm, what is heavy? Not those. Not that. Not that. Hmm, not that. Not that. It's plastic. Oh, that is heavy. That was a horn. Look at the coil that makes the horn blow. It's got a copper coil in it. So we got a piece of copper out of a most unlikely place. That's as good as getting one out of a really likely place, isn't it? I mean, really? What is this? Some more bumper? Yep, that's a bracket for it, I believe. It's made out of the same stuff. Yep. Wow. Okay, you don't need to take that out. This looks like it might be a piece of wire down here. I'm hoping. Uh, here's the plastic that went over that piece of steel and made a modern day bumper on a truck. Okay. So you put that over there. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's hose, isn't it? Yep. It's a uh, hose. So therefore it does us no good. It's uh, I was hoping it was an electrical cord. It was pretty good size. <laughs> but no. It was not. We'll put that down in there out of the way. Try and compact the rest of this plastic bumper over here. So we have room for those boxes over here. At a greater depth. Which I said, well, help them out, you know. They'll have more room for more stuff. If this doesn't get dumped before tomorrow. Oh, uh, look at there. Another bracket. <laughs> Can you tell those are heavy? Yeah, they're heavy. Yeah, yeah they are. In case you can't tell, I mean. I'll bet you can. What in the world is it? Okay, what's in this bag? It seems like there might be a can in there. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Let's see, shall we? <gasps> I'm not disappointed. I'm disappointed that it has all this liquid in it. <laughs> mm, that's some kind of tobacco thing. Oh, the horror. The horror. Tobacco. Ugh. Mm. They need to take that stuff back to the West Indies or wherever they got it. And leave it there. I lost one of my parents to tobacco usage. It took 65 years to kill her, but uh, my mother succumbed to these cigarette things here. Oh. Okay, so. Uh, oh, there's another bracket. Looks like maybe two more. I think I see two more. Hmm. Let's see if we uh, do see two more of them. Because there's one right there. One like that heavier one. And then I believe this is another right here. Yep. Some of that crud out of there. Before I put it in the old car there.
Okay, this is like a like a mine. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mine the aluminum cans out of here without having the roof cave in on us, like they would if uh, this was an aluminum can mine, which I've never really heard of one, so there probably aren't any. But if there was, this is what this would be. Okay, we'll put that up out of the way. Now, the farthest away is this purple job way down in here. Come here, come here to me. Huh, that's not purple. Isn't that amazing? It was a surprise. Surprise! Surprise! Uh, come, come here. Okay, there's the purple one. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, so, see what I mean about uh, bend them first before you put them on the ground? When there's wind, it tends to uh, run away with them. Okay, let's see here. What do we got left? Oh, there's more over there. Ah! That means I'm gonna have to go about it a little differently if I want them all. And I want them all. I'm gonna have to get the dumpster stick and I'm gonna have to pick them out of there. Yes, I know, I need to mess around. Now, I love to mess around, as you know, but. There's uh, too many to be messing around. See what I mean? Usually this dumpster here, this uh, well, container, well, it's not really a dumpster, but uh, this container has a lot of aluminum cans, usually. Didn't disappoint this time, but it did the last two times. There's one there, and one there, and one there. Come here. There, that one's trying to escape. Shot while trying to escape. <sighs> okay. Good thing there's gum there. It pulled out two at a time. It's not really, that's a bad thing that there's gum there. That's, I can't turn that in with that on it. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, it'll like cloth better though. Uh, see, really loves cloth gum. I mean, if you don't believe me, uh, try putting some on your shirt or in your hair and see how nicely it comes out. Or does it stay there? Uh, there's a can hiding behind these sticks and this piece of plastic. See, down here, look. Oh, two, I'm sorry, not a can. Two cans. Follow your nose. It always knows. The flavor of fruit, wherever it goes. Not that kind of toucan. It's just two cans. Not a toucan. <sighs> Sometimes I must chastise myself for my punishingly horrible puns. Look at all these, see? Eh? This is a, uh, that's just crazy. It's a can mine. And it's rich in candom. Oh, that has cigaretteness in it. Tiny bit, not like that other one that was full of them. Ugh. Wow, nice, huh? Yes, I think so. And when we get all this out of here, this stuff will fit in there much better. The lid might even close except for this piece of plastic here. Maybe I can shove that down farther somehow and make it uh, make the lid close. That would be nice if they had that the lid closed. They'd love that, I think. <sighs> I don't know. Can you even can't count the cans yet? I mean, uh, are there too many to count? Uh, I'm not sure. There are more up under here in another little spot. I see another one there, for instance. Count? No, don't do that. Come here. Okay, I see two. I thought I saw one. I actually saw two. Mm. So they dumped their recycling into the bottom of this can here and then covered it up with bumper pieces and heavy duty stuff. 
they really didn't want anyone to recycle this stuff, apparently. Huh, there's a couple more over here. A couple more. There's three I can see. Four. One. Two. Yeah, this wind is going to make things hard on me here in a little bit. Some of these escaping ones. Got to put the kibosh to them before they get away. Stop rolling around. That, my friends, was the kibosh. I kiboshed them. No, it's nothing like a Kardashian. It's a kibosh. It's totally different. Get. Okay. Another one down here. Stupid thing out there. One right here. Boy, I wish they'd throw all these cans in a box for me or something. But, you know, they're working. They don't have, they, the way they look at it, I don't have time to do that. I don't have time for anything. I've got to work and work and work and get this done. So that's how it kind of works out. So I'm sure they don't want to use up any time throwing these in a separate box. Which, uh, as you know, wouldn't be much time, but still, it is some time and they wouldn't like it. Okay. Uh, okay, I think that's about it. Whew. Okay. Before we do anything else, I'm going to get this dumpster repacked here. Okay, this thing, if I can push it all the way to the bottom, come on you, come on, there we go, now the lid should close, that's what I was trying to do, get it better than it was, okay, what can I put down in this void where I took out all the cans, is that another can, is there no end to these cans? I'm sure that's another can. Yep, sure is. Can you get it though? I don't know. I'm certainly trying. <sighs> yep, I did. Okay, so, like I said, can I put these things down in this hole where the cans were? Oh, that one. And this one, the prominent, really hard cardboard that is not very forgiving and won't uh, bend at all, just about. Okay, we'll put this one right on top of that one. That leaves us all this room over here and everything. Just to do what we need to do. And this, this, what does this say on it? California CRV. C A C R V. That's all I need to see. We're taking that with us. Okay. Let's see if I can get all this other garbage in this hole over here so I can put more stuff on that side. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. These guys have been so good to me. If you don't believe it, look around over here. Yeah, the metal and the cans that I'm going to uh, compact their cardboard for them and make this where it closes completely, which I'm sure they would prefer if they'd uh, had time to worry about it, but they did not. They just threw everything in here, but I'm going to make it clear. Okay, in there. This thing, oh, there's more cans in there from another place earlier where I did not have the camera. Throw them in there. Okay, now yeah. a place to put all these. I'm gonna squish over here. Let's do the bumper bits first. 
bumper bit, bumper bit. Bumper bit, bumper bit, shifter. Okay, large bumper bit. Ugh. Nice, heavy, I like it. Heavier it is, the more I like it. The more money it is. So that's why. Alrighty, throw the rest of these in that bag and we're ready to clear out of here. And we have improved, not messed up anything here. So, that's good. Hmm. Some of them have tried to escape under the container. Evil things that they are. Look at that. Trying to get away from becoming a brand new can. Can you imagine? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it hurts a little bit. I'm, I'm not sure on that. I've never asked one of them after the process if it was, uh, you know, painful. I have no idea. But they tell us, uh, everybody on the TV, that we should recycle these. And uh, it puts money in your pocket, which is gas in your tank. So it works out pretty well for me. Well, out here again at the industrial park. I did check something out a moment ago. This is a place that uh, makes corrugated boxes and corrugated packaging material for other places to send their products in. And a lot of times, I guess at the end of a run, they've got a lot of leftover packaging material. So, uh, I looked in this one dumpster of theirs over here. And it has uh, about a gazillion of these little red boxes. So I thought I'd let you guys in on it here. These little red boxes, looks like each one of them contains not a fire alarm communicator, but it does contain the mounting for said communicator, I guess, which would be this strip of stainless steel and these little bolts. Uh, both of which I tested with my magnet are stainless. Pretty stainless. So, if I care to screw around here for a while, um, I'll be able to take all of this stuff and probably put it in a couple of these little red boxes. Uh, let me get the uh, dumpster stick it's extraordinaire here. The one that actually works that I've been using. Yep, there it is. Yeah, I know it's a little dark out here. Sorry about that. Should be good inside the dumpster there, though. I've got uh, plenty of light on that. Uh, yeah, there we go. Sure, you guys can see that pretty well. Anyway, here was this box of these little boxes, and I thought, huh, why don't I just uh, strip them down to just the guts inside these little red boxes, and then uh, what I'll do after that is put them all in one or two of these little red boxes, because they'll hold all of this. That one might have one in it. Yep. 
you could hear that hit it so you knew that had the uh, stainless piece in it okay that one's dead this one's dead and this one's dead yep what's in here I wonder anything probably not let's take a little gander at it anyway hmm seems like it could be more than just cardboard it's kind of heavy nope just cardboard and oh a few bolts the same kind that are in with those other things so there we go they do make some heavy cardboard packaging apparently that thing weighed quite a bit for an empty box I guess if you use these guys and you ship your stuff it'll get there without being hurt look at the kind of things they go to to pack your stuff perfectly I mean if I was gonna pack something this would be the thing to score here so that I could pack it perfectly I guess anyway I think what we're doing is we'll do in the old days I hope it still is because it looks like I'm gonna get a tiny bit of some of it oh, hey you stop that you come here wait I knew that was gonna happen <laughs> ah, pirate <clears throat> clumsy pirate clumsy pirate at that you know what pirates don't get along with German shepherds that just keep barking and keep barking and keep barking and they don't really have any reason to be barking because they're way over there in another place locked up which has nothing to do with this over here but they feel it's their duty I guess to bark all night long so since no one's asleep out here in the industrial park I'll let them get away with it I guess yes this is their uh, cardboard recycling dumpster no there's no more of those little boxes so let's uh, strip them down it shouldn't take very long okay remember that I put this right here when I go to leave so I don't leave it there thanks be sure and remind me I'm not a brilliant pirate but I am a clever one sometimes clever tops brilliant you never know oh well so anyway we're gonna use this little catch-all here to grab all the guts and glory out of the inside of them mm -hmm. no guts no glory but we've got both so right there come on uh-huh and there's this one another one of those yep hey that's got an extra goodie in it piece of red tape you know that's the thing about these big companies they all run on red tape <laughs> ah. oh that was good yeah that's <clears throat> i guess they're not running tonight because the red tape's out here get this out of here put it in there and out of here like this and put it in there like this rinse and repeat and rinse and repeat rinse and repeat hmm rinse and repeat then yes there we go another one of those piece of stainless stainless nuts and bolts more piece of stainless stainless nuts and bolts and the paper which I will discard momentarily once I get them all in here and the other uh dumpster here which is also for cardboard and such um it is sporting something we can take uh, a bit of recycling and wire which i really like look real wire that's not all calm wire some of it is that blue thing is but the rest of that down there the pink stuff that's number one wire we want all that so we'll get to that in a moment. Just letting you know, it isn't all about these silly little pieces of stainless steel. 
silly though they may be. They're here. And we want them. Is it raining ice right now? Or what? What is that? Is a tree shedding on me? What in the world was that? Did, did you see that? I mean, hear that? I mean, what, what was that? Hmm. I don't think it's bird a poopy. I don't see any bird poopy. That's odd. Whatever it is, I think it came out of this ginormous tall tree up there above us. Uh, it's probably just a grizzly roaming about in the tree. Looking for grubs and such. Or grub, which like a pirate would be good grub. It's raining this again, whatever it's raining. Stop that. Why is it why is it raining when it's not raining? It's like relatively warm out here. It shouldn't be rain. Wow! It's a lot more silly little pieces of stainless than I thought. This cardboard box, the stuff in it weighs about three or four pounds from those little pieces of stainless? Huh. That's not bad at all. Hello. Eworm and I are both here at the wonderful dumpster from Valhalla. Uh, I'm going to go take a look and see what's in it. I know one thing, it was over full before, uh, well, both of them were, the two yellow ones that count. And uh, now I can see from here there's nothing sticking up above, so if nothing else, the things have changed that were in them. Uh, let's go see if there's something new. Okay. Let's see. Got, <laughs> I got one piece of recycling. Oh, I have boxes. Oh, oh my. Lions and tigers and faucets. Oh my. You get out of the way. I don't like you. Go away. I like you. I like you a lot. You're my friend. Oh boy. That's heavy. And so is this brass drain pipe. Looks like a brand new one. I don't care. Brand new, old, whatever. Got more brass. I've spotted more brass. Mm -hmm. It's two of those. What else we got here? Oh. A plunger thingy. That opens the drain. What's in here? <gasps> Wait a minute. More brass. There's yet more brass. There's some here. I just put it in there, I guess. And then take this up here. No, it has no bottom. It's like pirate gold, except it's, well, brass. Look at this. Nice stuff. Yeah, that's all brass. Uh, we need, might need a box. Just, uh, I don't know if I want to take that one with us. Wait a minute, this one has something in it. I don't know, it's just not empty. I don't know what's in it. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's like plasticky things. Uh, not much on plastic. No, I don't recycle plastic. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, we gotta get this, uh, hopefully this recycling we're done with this one. Obviously, there's nothing else in here. You can kind of tell, you know. Okay, uh, I want to look in this box and that box, though, real quick here. But they have stuff. Whoa, that one's heavy. Uh oh. Okay, now we're talking. <sighs> see what we can do to uh, see what's in it. I need to get the edge. Oh my gosh. Lions and tigers and boxes. Oh my. What do we got in here? <gasps> Ooh, a brand new faucet. Or the old one they took out. Either way, it's good with me. Let's see, it's in these little boxes. Mmm, more brass. I can use more brass. <laughs> oh, this is way heavier than that. It's something else in this one, no doubt. Come on, I'm not going to mess around all day with you. There we go. Oh, it's one of those. 
It's one of those commercial valves for the top of a urinal. A brand new one. It weighs about two and a half pounds, I kid you not. Yeah, this okay. Is an aerial, is an aerial, for an urinal, it says right here on the end. See? There you go. Urinal. Urinal. I told you. What's in this one? There's more boxes. It's like Christmas, but for pirates. Look, more brass. More brass goodies. Oh, don't forget that one. Oh, you're not getting away. You just think you are. <laughs> you come back here. Your, your elusiveness will not help. Okay, what else we got? American standard. I think you, this this I, could all be brass. I think you got all the pieces you need. I think need. we got a whole um, valve to a urinal. These things are heavy. Oh, yeah. Like that thing. That, look. No big deal, right? Heavy though, <laughs> not a light piece of brass. A heavy chunk like those. Oh, be darn! I can't believe this. This, folks, is why I stop by this particular dumpster all the time because it makes me happy. <laughs> That's why. Smile again, today and get Oh, that. this really makes me happy. Smile. Let's see you smile, buddy. <sighs> I'm smiling <laughs> inside <laughs> because. This thing weighs six or seven pounds. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. And all brass. Yep, everything about it. Okay, so let's get uh, something that'll support the weight of all this stuff. I don't know, maybe this box it came in? Yeah, that would, that would work. And, uh, you can probably put that stuff in there too. These thingies here and there. Yeah, uh, that thing, and this thing this thing and uh, these things all these different things more brass brass equals gold to pirates okay now what do we do now we're trying to get that other box that one right there oh yeah i haven't even touched that one because there could be more goodies in that one i like that there's not so much clutter in here right now yeah it helps oh my gosh there's stuff Can in you there. believe that i see it i can't believe it i'm right here looking at it you believe <laughs> I'm looking directly right at it. I know, it looks like I planted it, but I swear I did not. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> That's all brass, too. Uh, these things are stainless with brass on the ends. I mean, you know, not bad or anything, but they're not as good as uh, a big chunk of brass. Let's see, what else we got here? Oh, more brass. <laughs> Okay, let's see if we can take the tray up. Uh, yeah. You get up high enough, I can help. Take it back. <laughs> Isn't that fun? This is fun. That's a this solid. the best scavenger hunt ever. That is a solid chunk of brass. That is not something hollow. Best scavenger hunt ever. Mm -hmm. That's true. These are brass too, these bolts. See that look rusted and corroded? Mm -mm. They're brass. I shall demonstrate momentarily. Okay, do I have the keys on me? Nope, I left them in the car. Anyway, uh, you may have to take my word for it, but the thing is, these, uh, I don't need that. I need uh, a magnet if I was gonna show uh, that they're not steel, but they're not. They can take my word for it. They are definitely brass. So we want that, and we don't want this piece of plastic. We could leave that there. Let's look at the other ones. I think we got this one done. Wow, oh, that's really nice. Wow, oh, that's heavy. That's like 10 pounds. Oh, there's stuff right in the stuff. corner there. Oh. Oh, there's this stuff. <laughs> I see uh, some cool stuff right in this corner right here. I'm aiming the camera at right now. <laughs> There's some stuff in here, my I'm, friend. I'm kidding. <gasps> that's not just stuff. That's brass and that's copper. The actual pirate gold. Copper. Here we go. Look at that. And a big brass valve on the end and brass fittings in the middle of that. Well, I don't think our, I think 
think our box is going to run us over. We have we can throw the other dumpster there and get the cardboard dumpster in and still get one or trade it in or something. What's that? A control or something, but what type of control? Let's see, shall we? Let's see, it's a Sloan control, which means it's for a uh, urinal. This thing is more stuff that goes for the urinal in the wall that runs it. This is all brass inside. Pretty heavy for a piece of plastic. Got brass in there for sure. Here, more brass. I hate to get more brass, but you know, I will. The only reason I hate to get more brass is because I'd rather get more copper. <laughs> Just kidding. Either one's nice with me. Come here. Oh, this is a heavy goober. Oh. Got a groovy goober? A go goofy goober? That is all brass except this rubber piece that seals it to the top of the sink. Question is, what's in that box right there? Yeah, I haven't even... What, well, what about that one? I, there may be nothing I there. Or that box over there. There may be urinal stuff in this one like there was in that other one. That's, that's a exactly slime box. Like it, huh? It that one right there. It's, it's a Sloan box. Right here's too, a Sloan box. I know, but it's too light. It, it doesn't have the whole valve and everything like that. Other one. Some bits, pieces in there, looks like. Yeah, I think so. This, yeah, it looks like. Aha. Let's see what they left in here for us. These guys are so nice. I love when they leave stuff. Uh, okay, so. Nope. Uh, nope. 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 Yes. Another chunk of brass. Can't complain about that. I guess they had to put some of the urinals in where they go. <laughs> Couldn't leave them all in boxes. I think we should there in that mystery box in the corner there. <clears throat> yeah, that's about it. Oh, nada. El nada? Nada. El nada. But can, they, can we use that box for the stuff that we have? Uh, we could, but I think we can use this for the overflow. Okay. This one's a little tougher. Because it used to have one of those badass valves in it. Well, I think that'll do it for this dumpster. Uh, I know, it's kind of a quick one, but I hope you enjoyed the gold. <laughs> well, see you next time. Scrap Pirate Roberts. And Eworm. Out. Well, it's sunshiny out here very hope it doesn't glare on everything anyway i'm out here at the uh, dumpster from valhalla again let's see if they've got anything for us actually it's three dumpsters i don't know why i call it dumpster but uh the one on the left always seems to have more goodies anyway we're gonna see what we can find as is our one pirate Look at this. I like copper the mostest. Because it's the bestest. Yep, that's why I like it the mostest. Look at that. Somebody got a new water heater, apparently. And we get all the goodies from the old water heater. I like this. That's a good arrangement. Okay, this is an insulation kit for the uh, copper that they put on it, the brand new stuff, but it's just foam. But this shouldn't be in here. This shouldn't be in here. Mm, let's, let's see if there's anything else in here. Wow, okay. Uh. All right, we'll just stick our head in here and see what we can... Oh, well, your head, my head, our heads in here. Whoa! What ho? More what you call uh, brass. More what you call brass. Two heavy brass valves. Oh, I'm liking all of this. Okay, I think that's about got it. There's some light steel here I usually don't bother with but there's not much else here except what I see so I'm gonna get everything I can out of it uh, anything in there nope 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 okay 
Uh, wait, we got the box out of the way. We should look down in here. Uh, nope. Nothing else. Well, that was a short trip. Slightly profitable, though. I mean, there's a... Uh, one, two, three, four... Ah, about six dollars worth of stuff here. Easy. Maybe more. That's a good guesstimate. Six bucks. It's better than no bucks. I always say. I don't always say that. But when I do, people ask me, Why do you say that? And, uh... I got one word for that. Pirate. Let's uh, put these nice little box back in there so they can fill it up for me again tonight, hopefully. I'll come back and see if they've refilled it. <laughs> uh, well, that was a short voyage. But a profitable one. No doubt. Thanks once again. Please like and subscribe. Scrap Pirate Roberts. Out of here.